Hey, everybody, and welcome to the Logan Power Show. It's me, your host, Calvin Logan, and we are live here at the Logan Power Show. We're excited. I want y'all to stay tuned right now. Uh, I got with me two incredible people that have a chemistry to bring truth, not just bringing truth, but bring that fire, that impact that you want to stay tuned in. You want to go beyond the fence because they're going beyond a whole nother level, another another realm. We got the one and only Coach Shea Samuels and the one and only Mr. David Benton. Hey, y'all. How y'all doing? We in the building. And we in the building. <laughs> <laughs> and y'all better be smiling. <laughs> Everybody is smiling. Everybody is delighted. Um, but let's do this here. Uh, let's talk about, for instance, how this group sort of came together. I know a lot of times uh, when you talk about powerhouses, uh, there's a story to be told of how you guys joined forces and came with one one voice. So how did this come about? Um, well, it all started. You know, I did 13 years and two months behind the fence in federal prison. So I was behind the fence that long, a uh, young man uh, for drugs, gangs, um, and I did my time. They gave me a 15-year sentence. I did 13 years, two months, and I remember my first celly, he had life in 30. And when you look on his paperwork, his outdate said deceased him. My outdate said 2015. And I remember he told me, he said, young, prepare for home. So this is what I did, man. I prepared for home. Um, I started having a paradigm shift in my mind, man. I started studying, really getting myself prepared to be a better version of myself. So when I got out of prison, I had a renewed mindset. I was a new being. And that's when I went beyond my fence. So a lot of people, you know, um, you go biblical, David's fence was the light. Jesus' sense was the cross. Some people's sense may be drug addiction, alcoholism, whatever it may be. We all got fences we're trying to go beyond. So mine was prison. So a lot of people are in prison in their mind. So that's what I want to get people to go beyond. That imprisonment in the mind, I want to free them in their mind. So if I can free them in their mind, then I know that you can always become better in your circumstances. So that's where beyond the fence come from. So that's our mission. That's our goal. And how we have me and uh, the awesome, amazing, beautiful Shay Sanders had we hooked up, I will allow her to elaborate. Yeah, she went beyond her. Yeah, well, um, I make a joke. It was 2016 when David stalked me on the phone. <laughs> well, we were connected to one of the same uh, people and you know, we, we both believe that God does not make mistakes. It was meant for us to meet. And in 2016, we, we uh, formed a friendship first and foremost. And then from that friendship, we knew that both of us had something to offer one another. And so I used to send material to him and say, hey, this would be good for your team. And then he would send stuff for me and say, hey, this would be good for you. And then one day we just decided, why not just collaborate? Why not just come together? Um, not just collaborate, but let's merge these two businesses that we've had together these labels that we had individually and and so that's how um what you guys see today came about so we decided you know what enough was enough we're not going to just share the information we're going to become one and we're going to make sure that everybody gets the best of our world absolutely the best of both worlds uh you can find them on elations radio uh somebody who a group that you want to stay connected with um, stay empowered for what they yeah. do. Um, understand when they when they're on, uh, they come with the force. The number to call every time when they have their radio show is six four six five six four nine eight four two on Alation's radio. You can find them on a, t a ton of platforms from iTunes to Spotify, uh, you name it. Uh, Spricker, um, they are making some waves, and when it comes to not only strong content, but life-changing content. Um, so how has the journey been for y'all? Like, you know, you know, you guys are going beyond uh, what people can see as um, just the visual, but you guys are making some headway. So how has this journey been for y'all coming together, joining forces? Uh, how's it been for y'all? Great. 
ups and downs. Um, but it's been, we've both been growing. Um, we come from two different backgrounds and so, and that's not a bad thing, um, but we come from two different backgrounds. So again, we've been able to merge our knowledge together and I'm growing from him and he's growing from me. But, um, but sometimes there's that, you know, in the learning, there's that this right here, like I just, you know, um, <laughs> but that's, you know, that's how it is. It's, you know, kind of just one band, one sound, but when you're working with one another, as much as we work with one another, you know, um, sometimes you just got to have that break. And the reason I say that is because some people see this. You know, they see us on the interviews and they see us on the stage and they see the, or they hear the music and they see us smiling. But there's so much behind the scenes. And um, there are times right before the radio interview or radio uh, show that David and I have, you know, we just kind of five, four, three, two, one. Welcome to Beyond the Radio. <laughs> Welcome to Beyond the Radio, you know, but that's indicative to who we are in our partnership. And so I say that it, even in that we endure, we endure. So I share that with everyone uh, because what you guys see, it takes work on the back end for what you guys see, see what you're seeing to develop. Absolutely. David? Absolutely. David, you come on in here um, for yourself. Give us your take. Well, um, when I when I came home, man, you know, it was in my heart to start a label. Um, I wasn't really rapping, you know. I wasn't rapping when I came home. But what I was doing, I seen a lot of violence going on in my city. I'm from Knoxville, Tennessee, and I seen a lot, man. So I, we on CNN now, my old high school, for plenty of murders. It's, it's, it's nothing, nothing to brag about. To brag about, it's like painful to see. A beautiful high school that I graduated from, so many murders, man. So when I seen this, I started a campaign called uh, Silence the Violence. And I wasn't doing uh, no music. My, my heart was for the people to change their mindset uh, because I'm so far culture. I'm for everybody, but our culture, being a black man here in America, I see the reality of this thing that we call a race. Understand, if it's a race, somebody's winning and somebody's losing. You know, we're people. So when somebody put that in 1700s, made it call call this thing a race. I seen us losing, so I want to put us on the winning platform, not to try to defeat somebody else, but to just try to be better than who we are. So when I came in doing that, man, um, people just encouraged me to do the music. So once we did started doing the music, the music started doing better. It's, it's still starting to take off even much more. People gravitate to the music much more. But we always say we're so much more than music. We don't want people to be so conformed to, well, we're artists. No, we are entrepreneurs. We're, we're fathers, mothers, awesome human beings. We love people. We kings and queens. We just have a talent to do music. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, we want to help people to understand the bigger picture and not be so caught up on the religious side, but know who God is in you, especially when you believe that you're made in his image, his likeness. Yeah. Well, to be made in his image and his likeness is going to take work. And that's what Shay was talking about earlier. And we can sit up here and preach, you know what, I'm going to give you Jesus. And that's right. Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Okay, that sounds good. But at the end of the day, all what God equipped you with, what tools are you going to use to transform and actually walk out your purpose? And that's what it's about for Beyond the Scenes. And that's why we got the platform Beyond the Radio. Shout out to Relation. Shout out to Kimmy Kim. Because that's what we want to do. We want to bless people's minds. That's what we want to do. Great. Um, it's good to see that you guys are doing something that's that's very um, game changing. How did how did Miss Kimmy Kim get connected? How did you guys get to Elations Radio? How did that start? Um, we both have different we both have different stories, and it's again just how within the beginning of our um, connection, 
you know, we were meeting the same people, but we had different platforms. And so um, I met Kimmy Kim off of the Positive Power Double uh, XI Network, where she was one of my first interviews. Um, I interviewed with her and um, the Batman. And um, from that point on, we were connected, but David and Kimmy Kim had a, a different connection. And so uh, from that connection, we were kind of reunited. And so just how the world just, you know, just kind of comes back around. So I had a different um, introduction to her, but David reintroduced me back to her. Absolutely. So with myself, uh, it was also through uh, the, the Batman, Positive Power. And um, we was actually on a whole other network. And um, shout out to Lita Robinson, may she rest in peace, man, she joined uh, network. Yeah. Uh, we started Beyond the Radio there with her. Man, we had an awesome time. Yes. So, so, such a blessing. And we grew. We grew. I'm talking about we grew. Yeah. And I remember we started out with two people. They left the, they left a replay of us on overnight on accident. Just left us on. And it, it plays in 177 countries. The next morning it had 9,000 listeners. Eventually it was over 16,000 listeners. So that was a blessing. Yeah. With that being said, I always had a, a good relationship with Kimmy. And Kimmy had told me, listen, I'm about to, you know, start a network myself. I would love to, and she never tried to take me away, like take us away from Sea Joy. She was just saying, listen, what you guys are doing, let me yeah. bless you as well and put it on this platform because I love what you guys stand for. I love what y'all saying. It needs to be heard. It blesses me to hear you guys. So that was such a blessing, and I was so thankful to hear that, you know, and, um, and things over at Sea Joy, I think our time expired. And when it expired, you know, we, we had a transition. And relation was just the best fit for us. It made more sense. Um, I'm more, I'm, I'm closer to to those on the elation side. So really it was a no brainer to transition. We just- We didn't know that each other were thinking elations we were just kind of talking about what the next transition would be. And um, I think I said something like, you know, what do you think about elations with Kimmy Kim? He said, you know what? He was like, it, that's just it. So we were on the same page. Um, even with that, we were on the same page. He already asked me, Shay. Oh, my bad. I forgot we on live. My bad. I almost had a moment. <laughs> I almost had a moment. <laughs> 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 All right, I'm back. <clears throat> All right. I'm professional again. <laughs> and to continue on, Miss Coach Shay. Continue on. Well, that that was it. We were <laughs> that was it. <laughs> bling bling. <Gotcha. laughs> Calvin bling bling. Gotcha. Oh, no, man. that was <laughs> that was it really. Uh we and we we both decided. I know Kimmy had asked him, but at that point in time, our transition, we didn't we didn't know what our next step was going to be. And then we both decided. And what I loved about it, honestly, was that it happened seamlessly. It was almost like the following two weeks, we were on a new network and it felt good. I mean, it felt really good. It flowed well. We all were um, greeted. Um, and not only that, shout out to the Elation Honors, all of that. We, were, we weren't just a radio show on Elation's we became a part of the family. And so that's exactly what we considered ourselves. And to have that extended arm, it was really great. So it was seamless. Amen, amen. So getting to you guys' platform, what is like your ideal guest? What do you guys look for to say, okay, I'm gonna put this person on the platform, I interview this individual. How does that come about? What's, what's sort of the, the conversation you guys have behind the scenes? So I got to interview that individual to get on. Um, to be honest, <clears throat> we never really too much reach out to people. People reach out to us. And the reason why is, you know, because we, we actually talk with them. You know, we, we, we have a platform to where, like I said, man, we really want to, we have fun. We always have fun with it, but we want to educate you. 
so we do more talk radio. So, you know, people find out, you know, we do radio, radio personality, because we do so much of the music. It's like, you got a radio show too? And we're like, yes, we do. Now, Shay have plenty of platforms, but she, don't, she also have uh, the Red Room, where she's the host, and it's a TV show. And shout out to the Red Room, Positive Power, with Jerry Watts for that, Jerry Watts Live. So, um, we don't really ask people when they come on, man, only thing we want, we, we're not really worried about your talent, we worry about your integrity. Yes. When we see people with integrity, then that's, that's more for us. We don't want the people who look like they are that or this. We don't want to, we don't want to get people who are just going to tell you what they feel you want to hear. Yeah. We want sincere people. When you're sincere, I think we can get more through people because everybody is looking for some hope. Yeah. And what I noticed is that when we do have people who aren't as sincere on the, on the radio show, they don't really know how to flow with us. And so it becomes a what kind of show, because so many people are used to talking about their music. They want to tell their testimony. And so when we start getting into the topic, you see people fall out because <laughs> it's so, it's so um, out of the box, you know, so they're ready to give you their word. But when we speak truth and we start, you know, getting you to think outside the box, a lot of those people afterwards, you know, um, and, and so that's why we're selective. So to say that that's why we're very selective about who we have on, because we're so out of the box with the way that we uh, with, the, with the way that we teach. So someone might come on and we let them know right ahead. David does the actual interviewing beforehand and we let them know what the show is about. So um, it's few in numbers for that reason. So many are called, but few are chosen on Beyond the Radio. <laughs> I got a question. I got a question. I got a question. I know sure. this is just probably don't even make sense. But I'm looking at this Zoom. Well, I can see y'all name, but I can't see my name. My I was going to talk to you about it afterwards, David. So just come, bring it back in. Bring it back in. All right. I'll, I'll talk about All right. it. I'll, I got you fixed back. later on. Okay. But great I want to look professional, too. Great question. Great question. All right. Let's go. I'll say that All right, Mr. Calvin. Logan. Great question. <laughs> okay. This yeah. is how we are on the radio, too. So <laughs> it's I probably why you're laughing. <laughs> I, 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 I can sense that it, there's a way of making those kind of corrections, um, but that's not what the people do see. <laughs> so, but Got hey, you, but hey, about it. I, hey, I've already taken note as the admin. I've already taken note. <laughs> Got it. So, like I said, this is what people don't see. But uh, <laughs> final question um, to you all: Where do you see this going? Um, there are duos um, that do do not make it to the mountaintop together. You've seen it many a times where they have a strong platform, uh, a lot of uh, great content, but there's always too much alpha room in the room. And when you got too many alphas, uh, you will, <laughs> somebody feels that, they, that their alpha is stronger than that other person's alpha. Or they say, well, hey, my alpha is stronger than yours or my flow is the reason why we together or the reason why the people are still listening. Um, but you know, it, we're together, but you see it many a time duos do break up. I, someone I'm confessing, I believe that you guys have uh, a strong chemistry, but where do you see this actually going? Where's like the end, where's like the goal that you guys want to be at when it's all said and done? Or is there a certain goal you guys want to reach year after year when you think about your platform? Well, I, I say this, and I I let you in that part, Shay. What we do, how we correlate together, man. We, you know, we 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 both got our strengths. So we focus on our strengths, not the weaknesses. You know how um, how it's it's for for where the Bible say for when you weak, I'm strong. So in my strengths, she decreased and allowed me to increase, and vice versa. You know, where, where she have the strength that I don't really try to take over that area. I go ahead and, and use wisdom because she where she's great at, then I allow what, what God uses in her to be great. You know, and, and, and that's how she do for me, man. So we don't never really clash. We may have come up with a difference in some of our opinions. Yeah. But at the end of the day, 
we we respect one another's uh, ability. Yeah. Uh, the our gifts, our gifts are highly respected. So that's that's really how you know. And then we cheer for one another because we really want to we want we want to see each other individually yeah. win. So it's never that type of you know tug of war. It's really not, man. On, on some real, we'll come up here, we'll have fun because we're we're so honest about who we are. We're not afraid to say we make mistakes. We're not afraid to say you know we do bump heads at times. That's just being human. That's the human. problem is not bumping heads. It's how you handle the situation. Yeah. That's what's mostly important. And so where we're going, Shay definitely can tell you better than me because she have a her vision is so much her mind is so much greater than mine. And that's why I'm appreciative of that. Yeah. Um, I wanna say that I think, you know, there are times where we didn't think because of what you just said, uh, Calvin. Um, traditionally, when people go through things, they automatically think of the separation, right? Because that's what the world talks about. So the duos come together, two people are, you know, stronger. We've seen the Destiny Childs, we've seen the Tribe Called Quest, we've seen, you know, all of the other the groups. The fat boys together. broke up, man, the fat boys. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jay. But the, they hurt me. They hurt me when the fat boys broke up. They hurt me. Go ahead. Bling, bling, Calvin. <laughs> so. Go ahead. <laughs> so, so what happens is when we started going through those motions, because it happened early on, we had growing pains. And once we realized we can get through those growing pains, we both started seeing the bigger picture. You know, there were people who were actually relying on us, not just to get on the radio show on Sunday, but to show up in unity and unison at events. Um, even before uh, we knew of one another, people were already kind of tying us together. People were already like, you got to meet him and she, you know, she, you, she, you need to meet her. And so um, we just started identifying with the bigger picture. So what's next and, and how do we continue to grow? Like David said, we utilize our own strengths and we come together and we literally build off of that. So my strength is in business. So we've expanded in 2020 into Let's Talk Business Consultant Strategy and Coaching Group, LLC. Um, we take what we do building leaders in our music industry and we do it in the business. Um, I literally just became an author. David's going to be working on his book soon. We, we started building, you know, where David's like a finance guru. So he's looking at ways that we can save. And I'm looking at ways that I can help him get to the point where we can save. And so I think we do so much that it's hard to think about what the lack is, if that makes sense. So it's kind of hard for us to even uh, see the gap because we're already shooting ahead. Where most people are looking at 2020 or 2021, we're already in 2022, um, setting our calendars up for 2022. So I give you an example, you know, David being this finance guru, he's like, you know what, you know, if we take this, because we're paying $1,500, $2,000 out for this, what if we learn how to do it ourselves? So David will get the resources, because you know what, he'll be like, I ain't got time for that. I'm not a computer guru. I'm not trying to go on here to make this. I'm just not that person. But I can get you the resources needed for us to get it. So because we have that mindset, it makes more sense for us to just keep growing. And I think that's what really keeps us connected. And that's what keeps us in unison that we literally look at we're already in 2022. You have people who don't even want to book artists because they don't know what's going to happen in 2022, <laughs> right? And so if one of us get out of line, you know, we look at the calendar and be like, we still got 2022. So somebody got to get their act together. Some, somebody got to, <laughs> you know? So um, I will say what we said is sometimes we might have to just digress, maybe give it 24 hours and say, you know what? Let's just breathe a little bit. Right. And we come right back to work like it, we never disappeared. So there's so much on the line. Um, Beyond the radio is going to grow. Um, Beyond the sense itself is going to grow. Let's talk business is growing. Um, you know, transformational speaking, motivational speaking, the artists that we have are going to continue to grow. Our roster is getting bigger. And I will tell you this, like I tell everybody else, 
the sky's the limit. Whatever David thinks he's going to get from us, and we're just going to keep growing from there. Amen, amen. Well, the, hey, ladies and gentlemen, you just heard it here live here at the Logan Power Show, Beyond the Fence, with the one and only Coach Shea Samuels, the one and only David Benton, the powerhouses that every Sunday they're going to bless your life um, on Elations Radio. Um, you want to get connected with these two dynamic individuals who have a duo that is going to not just rock uh, the nation, but rock the globe. So I don't want you to take this time to take it lightly. I want you watching me, watching us. Uh, thank y'all again. That's all the time I got. My name is Calvin of the Logan Power Show, nationwide, worldwide. Well, we love you. We appreciate you. And we'll see you soon. Oh, see, can you see?